Yo guys, what is happening Mobile Total Games and welcome to another video. Today we're on another Minecraft map, I guess, Minecraft game. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. We're here uh, checking out though the Da Vinci's uh, ships, no vessels, Da Vinci's vessels. That's a bad thing for me to get wrong right off the bat. Uh, but we're here to check out the uh, the mod because I've been playing around with it here and having way too much fun to be honest. Um, this is actually a water world that I created and then I just started building more buildings as I kind of went. I started off with one boat and then it just kind of went from there and became this big huge thing. Um, but I really wanted to show it off because I think it's super cool and I wanted to show you guys some of what I've been building. So I want to jump into things here first uh, by actually kind of doing a little bit of a mod showcase because uh, I want to bring value to those of you who uh, actually want to use this mod, maybe implement it in your own world. Um, so basically, uh, the Da Vinci's Vessels mod has a whole bunch of really cool things. These are actually messed up for me um, at the moment, and I'm not sure why, but they do still work, so we're going to feature them anyway. But I'll just kind of take you through every single uh, block. This mod used to be known as Archimedes Ships, which was always a mod that I had fun with uh, way back in the day, and I finally found this one, which is the latest version. We're on 1.12 right now, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So the basic principle of it is that you can make your own uh, boats and watercraft and uh, and flying ships and whatever you want. You can make them move. This one's a little bit buggy, as you can see, when you're too close to shore. Unfortunately, it kind of glitches out a little bit. But well, as you get away from shore, uh, just like this, it starts to free up. And you can actually go ahead and drive a boat, drive whatever the heck you want. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And you can see I was just kind of putting together like a demo map in some sort of way. Somewhere where I, where I could actually get, go around and drive the boats. Um, so this is basically the idea. To, uh, to assemble the boat and dismount it. Let's kind of go over that real quick and then I'll go over some of the blocks that you use. Um, but basically the assemble happens right here. It tells you everything about the uh, about the ship. You can rename it if you want to have a special name on it. Um, but it's a ship. It has 57 blocks, 0% air balloons, which we'll get into in a second. And then a certain mass. If you go ahead and press assemble and mount, then you're in, like on board the ship. You can go around and drive it, whatever you want. And then if you want to dismount it, it's actually just a slash key and you're gonna get off of the uh, of the ship. Okay, so that's all pretty cool. What I did find though is that if you build a boat out of like wool, it will actually float up above the water. And if you build it out of like iron, it will like sink down below the water. There's definitely like a mass aspect, I guess, that's applied to every single block, which determines at which level your boat sits at. So for this little power boat, I added just two blocks high of concrete and this seems to sit really nicely in the water but like when you're going on building the bigger boats here like i did over at this little yacht club that i've started um you can see that the boats have like two levels underwater of concrete and then you know three four i guess five above whatever you want to count but um it's very interesting though to uh, to kind of play around with it and see where the boat sits in the water and it can kind of be a mess if you build a big boat and then it like you know sinks to the bottom that's never good Anyway, the air balloons are something that are very fun. I'll kind of showcase them here just by adding them to the bottom of this boat. This is how I've been getting the boats in and out of the water when I wanted to kind of pull them up on land for whatever reason. Um, this is if you put more than 40% of the boat uh, into like air balloons, then you can actually fly the thing, which is a lot of fun. I'll have to remember the controls here. But um, yeah, you can get up in the air. It's a lot of fun. Let's see if we can get it going here. That should be enough. Uh, so if we go to assemble, you can see that we have 43% air balloons, which means that we're good to go. And if I happen to F5, you can see we're kind of floating right here. Anyway, so if you want to ascent here, I have my control set to V for ascent. And you can see that we're actually going to start lifting off above the water, which is just so cool. And I have N for descent, and then we can descend down back into the water. So this is pretty much how you can fly around whatever kind of ship you want. It's a lot of fun. We're going to actually go park it in the hangar here, and I can kind of showcase how that works. Flying over the marina, the harbor, the port, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and we can actually go ahead and now park this thing in here if we wanted to. I'm not actually going to, but if we just kind of pull in, you can see this how you might want to get a boat up on land or whatever to, uh, to do some maintenance on it. I don't know. There's some cool role play things I'm sure you could do with this. But uh, nevertheless, you want to drop it back in the water. I'll kind of showcase that too real quick. I know this is all kind of a little bit goofy, but this is why I've been kind of having fun with on the mod. So I just wanted to show it anyway. If I park the boat right here and then I go down below, I can just simply remove all of these air blocks. And just like that, we assemble the ship again and we are floating. All right, so that pretty much gets rid of all those blocks. Uh, the floaters are things you can obviously use to add to boats. If your boat's sitting too low, if it's all built out of iron, you can actually add those to the bottom and it will float it up. Uh, let's go over a couple more things. Here's a secure bed. You can add that on board the boat and then you can sleep on it. Um, we've also got, I guess those are all the other air balloon blocks. Uh, we've got some gauges here, which are actually really cool. You can place them on the boat. They look like this and they'll actually show in real time how fast you're going and stuff like that. So just like as an example, I'll put it right there. And as we start to move, you'll see that that blue gauge now is going up. I'm not exactly sure what they all mean, but it's really cool stuff. And I think one of them is that compass. The white one is probably a compass, I think. Yeah, north is that way. So that white one is the compass. Yep, that's definitely a compass. Cool. So yeah, there's two types of gauges. I believe this one is for if you're in an air balloon and you're flying. And this one is for if you're in like a boat or a vehicle. 
Um, then we have these seats that you can sit in, I guess, when you're driving. I don't know. I haven't really used them. I just kind of improvised my own uh, seats. We've got shore buffers, which allow uh, for the boat to park next to the shore without the shore becoming part of the boat. I've already made that mistake a few times and accidentally moved like the entire docks and stuff. So I've had these shore buffers everywhere, which allow the boats to just uh, not bring the whole shore with them when they move. There is a limit though, however, which I think is around 2,500 blocks, which you can't go over uh, when you're building a boat like this. So as long as you're not over that, uh, you're good to go. I believe like even the biggest boats I have though, yeah, like this one's only 500 and it's a decent sized boat. So you can make some pretty big boats. We also have the steam engine, which as you can imagine, increases the speed at which you can travel at. I haven't put them inside any of the boats because I find they go pretty fast on their own, but that is an option. And then there's also wooden crates, which can store things on board the vessel, and then anchor point, which I'm actually not sure what this does, if it will actually anchor down. I know you can place them on the side of the boat, and they look really cool, which is, like, really awesome. I think that will actually hold the boat, though, when it's moving, if I remember correctly. Nevertheless, I'm not quite sure about that one, so I'm not even going to bother trying to figure it out at this moment, because I actually want to get in just quickly showing you guys the maps and a couple of the boats that I build. Hopefully, that's kind of a good overview of the mod, but, yeah, I mean, I've just been working on all these really cool boats. I'll just kind of fly around them all, because they're, they're pretty cool, I think, in my opinion, at least. Now, I'm not like a pro boat builder or anything in Minecraft, I don't think, but I've just been kind of having too much fun. There's like a pontoon boat that you go out, you know, you always see the big, the big square pontoon boats. If you're a boat fan like me, you kind of know... Um, I don't know. These are all different, like, just, I don't know, little, little, you know, boats you see down in Florida or whatever. Um, we've got kind of a bigger power boat here. Uh, we've got a couple little boats over here, maybe a little bit of a work boat, and, uh, and then another boat and another boat. Um, some pretty cool stuff, though. In general, this one's got, like, a, a top on it. I put, like, a little boat dealership over here, which I think was pretty cool. They all got, <laughs> all got like, the same, the blue bottom boats, and I guess they're, they're like, sold here. Um, and then I've got a little maintenance shack at the marina. This is where, you know, you go into the general store, get some water, get some some coffee. I don't, I don't know. I put up this little house here as well, just so I could have a little bit of a dock where you could park a boat. Um, just as an example of what I would kind of do. And then a little boat dealership over here with some boats in it, as you would imagine. I'm actually a really big fan of this one. I don't know why. It's just the, the color of the hull and then the uh, contrasting with the white looks really cool. This one's pretty cool over here as well. It's like a little power boat. So yeah, I've just been having way too much fun on this. And then I put like a little demo city over here. I should actually do a video on how I did this because this took about 10 minutes tops, maybe five, five, 10 minutes. Literally, I just built one type of building like this and I would just clone different floors up to different sizes, maybe double them up, uh, just all using the clone command. And then I would just clone them to different locations and then change the blocks in them. And it actually looks pretty cool. You can build a city very quickly like this. It's not by any means detailed, but I just want something to look at from the water. It wasn't actually something that I was ever going to go up on land and use. So I think I definitely accomplished a cool looking city. If you just wanted something to look at in your world, this is definitely a really quick and fun way to do it. And then I put a little port in here where you can maybe park some cargo vessels or whatever. Um, and then I got these couple little yachts over here. This is supposed to be like the Yacht Club, and then I'll maybe put some more buildings back there if I ever get around to it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of fun. Uh, these are just little boats you would live on board or whatever, and they got these little whole uh, kitchens and the bedrooms down below. These are like the tucked-in beds underneath where you have to like slide onto them. Um, kind of tight and claustrophobic, but nevertheless cool. Um, and then this one also has a little like downstairs area. Yeah, kind of fun. I don't know. They're just something that I was playing around with as well. They're a lot of fun to drive. Um, anyway, I think we're actually going to leave it there. I have some condos over here, too, that I just kind of put up again for looks. But uh, I'll let you know if I upgrade or do anything else to this map. I'm not sure if I will be, but just because I was just kind of having some fun with it. Uh, I might, though. And if I do, I will maybe do an update on it. If that's something that you guys will be interested in, uh, let me know. But I will leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I just really wanted to show this all because I thought it was so much fun. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to go in below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video.